the most feared enemy these days of the uh, Taliban in Pakistan is a young woman by the name of Malala Yustafis. Malala uh, is a 14-year-old girl that many of you have heard about. And Malala's one goal in life was to be able to have an education for herself and other young girls. And her goal in life was to be and is to be a doctor. Malala has been a great threat to the Taliban. They're just not sure what to do with her. They see her as their greatest enemy. And when she was about 11 years old, she did a blog talking about the Taliban and the threat they presented to girls going to school. It became so volatile with her, the Taliban, that they went on her school bus and shot her uh, for being such an enemy of the Taliban. She ended up in a hospital in New York, uh, in London actually, uh, and while in the hospital, to let the Taliban know that she was not afraid of them, with her mom and dad, she asked a photographer to come, and on her blog, she put out a picture of herself and her parents to let the Taliban know that, that she would be back. And she does plan to go back. She's probably much more brave than all the politicians and all the military in Pakistan. After she was shot, there was a whole upheaval in the people, in, among the people in the city of Karachi. The people, thousands and thousands of people, demonstrated and marched in support of Malala and asking the government to apprehend and arrest the people that were responsible for her shooting. They asked a teacher who had worked with her why the Taliban was so afraid of Malala, and she said the reason they're so afraid of her is that she's not at all afraid of them. She really, in our day and time, reminds me of our prophet for today in the Gospel of John the Baptist. Malala is truly a prophet to the people of Pakistan, particularly to young people, and it reminds all of us, those of us at home, those of us who are unable to be out, those of us viewing this Mass today, that in our own way, just by the kindness and compassion and goodness we show to those who help us, to those who love us, to those who support us, we can bring the good news of Jesus to them. We can be prophets for them.